to understand how singing bowl works, we first have to understand these three things. What is sound? How is sound produced? Elements of sound. What is sound? Defining sound is not as easy as we think. Just try doing some research and you will see that no one wants to give a solid definition. Here is my definition. Sound is a vibrational energy traveling through air. How is sound produced? Sound is produced when an object vibrates and the vibration travels through air. Sound can't exist without a vibrating object and air. Elements of sound. These are the elements of sound. Wavelength, amplitude and frequency. Let's look at some visual representation of sound. A wavelength is the distance between the two peaks and the amplitude is the distance between the base to the highest point of the wavelength. Longer the wavelength, deeper the sound, longer the amplitude, louder the sound. In this diagram, since there is six peaks, we can say that this sound wave is six hertz. So how does a singing bowl make a sound? It's not a very exciting explanation, but here it is. When you strike a singing bowl, the wall of the singing bowl vibrates and the vibrational energy travels through air. When you rub the stick on the rim of the singing bowl, however, it causes friction and friction causes vibration which causes sound. What is interesting to note here is that the part of the bowl that vibrates the most is directly opposite to where the stick is positioned. The maximum vibration on the ball will always be from the furthest point of the stick. So, does any ball sing? Any ball that can sustain a vibration for around 10 seconds when struck should sing when friction is applied on the rim. The only other factor to this is the shape of the rim. And you can also play it around the rim. Now because of the shape of the lip, this won't be able to be played on the rim, but you can still tap it. And it still rings. And you can play it both by tapping way and going on the outside on the rim. Mm -hmm.